What is going on my people? Welcome back to the channel for another album review. I'm your boy Nassim The Dream. If you're new to the channel, just go right on ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell as well to always keep notified on my newest content. And today I'll be reviewing the new Gorilla Toss album, Famously Alive. Here we have the newest fifth full length album from New York experimental psych pop trio, Gorilla Toss. Referring back to their 2019 EP, What Would The Odd Do? Discovering a band that really knows how to think outside of the box and develop a highly potent song creativity with the genres that they use in their music. This was a project that gave me a very memorable experience delivering as one of the most sporadic bands to come out with rock music today. My given expectations plattered on with a couple of teasers that we were met with before the release of this record. Off of assumption, I could believe that this record could either possibly top or possibly meet that same energy with the EP What Would The Odd Do. However, after this play, the consistency and creativity seems to be a bit pieced off from certain parts and pieces onto this new project. Cannibal Capital is placed at number one onto the track list for this new record, consisting of various distortions, drum freestyles, oddball sound design, flinging into the background as well. All over this intense yet soothing vocal performance that just feels like a wild chemical fusion. Riding right into the sun with the next song Famously Alive that feels like it's frying my brain as it continues on, crisping over with this bright and exciting alt instrumental. Growling synths full of danger overfill the song yet feels so tamed under these vocals too. What the band creates an experimental rock spreads this mind-bending experience across its place with wonderful display. Live exponential features these shimmering synths when followed with demolishing bass onto every fourth beat complemented with a spectacular outro that melts your brain. I am really enjoying the chorus too as well on the song Mermaid Airplane that kind of goes off this funny ring around the rosy impression. And I am really impressed with the layering onto the passages on here too. They sound well mixed and just well taken care of. I'm also hearing a lot of a glam metal inspiration onto a lot of the moments with the melodics onto these verses. At least that's what it reminds me of a lot especially because of the guitar playing and the solos. Wild Fantasy captures that same shine to the finish though it also feels like a less complex and less bright version of Famously Alive. I also feel like it goes a little bit overboard with that ring effect onto the keys too. They kind of feel a bit too sharp on here and also can feel like it's a bit of a tough pill to swallow. Kind of feel mildly similar with the next song Pyramid Hum. I like the approach when continuing making a decent rock instrumental, but I just don't really get why set the tone to be so dramatically daring with the experimentation yet fall and lose its touch farther into this record. This record starts to get a little bit more poppy entering in the song Excitable Girls feeling slightly 80s with the drum styles in here too. Since came back that rattle into its tail surrounding the lead vocals with some more wild transitioning. There's some wavy melodics into the song I Got Spared, but at the same time still feels so weird that these songs don't feel nearly as multidimensional as the first half of this LP. And then pretty much with the last bunch of this record, doesn't really feel on par with what the band seems to be going for initially either. So to be honest, I was really disappointed with what we received with this record. I really thought it was on such a great start, but then some of the production choices do make it feel like the mix is overcooked mainly onto the midpoint, but other than that, I did think it was great, but I can't help to feel like this feels completely disconnected into a lot of the moments after the half point. The theory is all here, and the talent is here as well, don't get me wrong on that, but I really do feel like the execution is a bit of a mess. Half Bake is probably the term I used to really briefly summarize how I felt about this project, but I would still say that it's still a pretty decent record, but I was kind of expecting this to be on the greater side of the percentage ratio of the records that I reviewed on this channel, but unfortunately, this does fall a bit short. I'm gonna give Gorilla Tosses Famously Alive a 66%. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed, go ahead and like, share, and comment down below. And if you're not already, subscribe to the channel. Down in the description, you'll see the separate tracklist ratings I have for the album, more videos, and also the links to my social media accounts so you can keep up with me on the daily. I'm gonna catch you in the next one.